Welcome everyone. Welcome everyone. So what we're looking at today is creating an image pairing activity using H5P on WordPress. So this activity, what you have to do is you have to pair the images from the right side to the images or with the images on the right side. So for example, on, a, on the left side here, we have pictures of landmarks and on the right side we have flags of countries so we're basically matching the landmarks to the country and you can drag and drop the landmark into the country that you think it is associated to and then once you're done you check your answer and then you get one out of six you have the option to show the solutions the correct solutions and you have the option to retry. Let's see how we can create this. Let's get started creating an image pairing activity using H5P on WordPress. So what you want to do is you want to go to your H5P plugin on WordPress, add new to add a new activity and then you want to find the image pairing module it's not installed you can install it and then click on it to start creating this activity we'll give it a title we'll call it image pairing then you have the description which is the instructions you will give to the users drag images from the left to match them with the corresponding corresponding images on the right that sounds straightforward so that's some good instruction we'll leave that and then we'll look at the next part so these are the cards here each card will have a picture and its answer so two pictures the first picture is the picture we will be dragging and the second picture is the picture that we will be dragging into. For example, image one. Let me select an image here. Upload an image. I've got an image here and it is the Great Wall of China. We have to give it alternative text. Put CH. So the matching image, that is the image that will be matched or paired with this image. In this case, we're doing flags and landmarks. So the flag that we will be matching with this landmark is the Chinese flag. The alternative text here is not required so we can leave it blank so right now we have an answer and an image they will be dragged into each other so what will happen is we will we would have to drag the first picture into the second picture to match so we are dragging the landmark into the flag in the activity so let me add a few other questions so second one will be the leaning tower of Pisa and the flag here will be the Italian flag you can add as many cards as you want I haven't tested the limit for this one but we're adding let's add a few more just to make it more just to see what it looks like if we have, for example, six images to match on the on the front end. So we have here the famous crosswalk in Japan, and we'll have the Japanese flag. Add another one. So you can do this with any type of images. So you can do maps and flags to teach geography you can do you can use animals you can basically use anything so 
And this is the Motherland Calls statue in Russia. Let's find us a Russian flag. That's in there. Add another one. Get Big Ben. Get the UK flag. And finally, last one. We'll have the Statue of Liberty. And we will add the United States flag. Good. So now we have we have our landmarks and our flags. Each landmark associated to one flag. We can go down to the behavioral settings. So add a button for retrying when the game is over. I would like to have that. That's the only option that is available. Not great, but there's not really much that you want to do here. And then you have the text override. Text override basically overriding the default, the text in the default prompts or the buttons. I won't change any of them. It's only got English as well. So that's basically it. I don't want to see any of the toolbar items. We'll hide that. So let's create this and see what it looks like. Okay, so the images are taking a little bit of time to load. I tried not to use large images, but that's what we have. So right now we have the landmarks on the left and we have the flags on the right. We have to drag the pictures from the left to match them with the pictures on the right. So I'll grab the first one and as you can see, I can drop it anywhere and to put it back you just click on it again to undo your answer so let's get this let's get that let's get that into Japan this one into the US and let's confuse the last one get that into the UK get that into Italy so I should be getting four out of six and let's check our answers four out of six and we have show our answers or retry. So show our answers will tell us what the correct answer is. It is a very interactive, visually appealing activity. Let's take it and let's put it on our front end. Let's publish it on our website. So we'll grab the short code from the right side here and we'll add it to a post or a page up to you so I'll add it into a new post create a new post so we have our new post here let's give it a title call it number nine image pairing let's add a new block a short code block And we will paste our shortcode into here. That is basically it. And then we publish our post. I am sure it is published. And let's view our post to see what our activity looks like. Great. So to me, it looks really nice. I like I like the styling for this activity. It looks good. So we select our images, click on the image, click on the corresponding correct image or you can drag it. Either way, this will work. Click click on the answer or you can just drag and drop, drag and drop and we drag and drop and we check and it looks good that's it so 
Again, this is a standalone, a standalone activity. If you wanted to have this activity as part of a test or a workbook, then you would need to add it to a question set or you need to add it to an interactive workbook. But as it is now, it is just a standalone activity. That's all. Thank you guys.